For months, astronomers assured us, three AI atlases would be nothing more than a harmless spectacle, a brilliant flyby skimming past Mars before vanishing into the dark hue. An interstellar visitor, nothing more, but the cosmos does not do harmless without reason. Now, our most powerful space telescope, James Webb, our advanced eye in the void, has delivered data that flips the narrative upside down. The numbers have changed, the trajectory has shifted, and scientists are whispering the one thing no one wanted to hear, three AI atlases could strike Mars. This isn't just a comet, this is precise movements, clock-like gas pulses, a thing that behaves less like a rock and more like a spacecraft. The more you investigate the data, the clearer it becomes. AI Atlas is not swaying, it's steering, adjusting, targeting, and the red planet is directly in its path. Whatever this thing is, it's not done with our solar system. And if you're as captivated and unsettled as the scientists following this, subscribe now. This story is only beginning. What comes next could alter everything we believe to be known. In July, the first sighting of 3E Atlas looked like any other interstellar interloper, a swift moving blur with a glowing coma, traveling at speeds never before recorded for an inbound object, nearly 87 kilometers per second. Compared to the sun, at that speed, it crosses the Earth-Moon distance in under 80 minutes. But what scientists found shocking wasn't its velocity. It was its behavior. Comets typically slow, fragment, or stabilize as they approach the inner solar system. However, three AI atlases began accelerating, subtly but consistently. Even more disturbing, its trajectory began tightening. Slight course corrections became evident. Its coma, the surrounding halo of gas and dust, doubled in brightness within weeks. Spectral analysis revealed intense peaks in ultraviolet energy. CEO was exhaling at previously unheard of rates. Earlier than any comet, it was displaying less like a piece of frozen rock drifting and more like a guided missile. After that, Webb's deep field sensors caught something that made everything different, rhythmic pulses coming from the tail. Not chaotic jets from sunlight melting ice, but deliberate thrusts in perfect 17-minute segments. A pattern. A signal. A move. As Webb, Gemini South, and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory continued to monitor the object, the numbers began telling a terrifying story. What was previously a near miss had evolved into much more. A new impact distance of only 1.95 million kilometers, a hair's width on a cosmic scale. Even worse, simulations demonstrated that even 10 kilometers per second of added velocity a fraction of what is currently measured in those gas pulses may be sufficient to shift its path into a crushing blow. Think about that, just a nudge, a whisper of thrust, and Mars becomes the epicenter. This level of control is unheard of in natural bodies. It's as if three AI atlases are using their own outgassing as microthrusters, adjusting their approach like a spacecraft would. Even more disturbing, these thrusts line up perfectly with the planet's orbital plane. Scientists aren't just tracking an object anymore. They're watching it aim, and the window for impact keeps narrowing. It's no longer just amateur theorists or sci-fi enthusiasts sounding the alarm. Harvard astrophysicist Evi Loeb and his team have published a paper proposing something bold. Three AI atlases may be an engineered probe. The data backs them up. Radar bounces from the Mars Gold Stone and the Recon Orbiter antennas returned metallic echoes, not the soft, watery signatures of typical comets. Inside sources from NASA describe the radar reflections as unlike anything we've ever seen. Add to that the green, needle-like streams seen in amateur high-exposure images, three beams of light converging toward Mars, pulsing in sync with the exhaust vents, and the picture becomes undeniable. This object is not behaving naturally. Lowe suggests a scenario where three AI Atlas could be deliberately targeting Mars to explode or, even worse, to deliver something. Probes, signals, spores, whatever it is, it's not a coincidence. Mars is being approached with surgical intent, and humanity is caught watching an operation we barely understand unfold in front of our eyes. What happens if it hits? The answer is almost incomprehensible. With a mass estimated at 10 billion tons and a speed of 57 kilometers per second, an impact relative to Mars would unleash more than 2 million megatons of energy thousands of times the most massive nuclear explosion in Earth's history. 
A crater 60 kilometers wide and 5 kilometers deep would scatter debris across Mars's orbit, some of which could be thrown into interstellar space. And yes, that means some of it could eventually reach Earth, but the repercussions go well beyond just rock and dust. Mars is home to dozens of scientific assets, rovers, orbiters, experiments looking for life and environmental records spanning decades. An impact would not merely harm machines, it would erase decades of research, blind communication arrays, and possibly ignite contamination events we are wholly unprepared for. Global space agencies have already initiated planetary defense discussions not against an alien fleet but against a single object behaving a little too much like a vehicle. For years, scientists have speculated that Mars may still harbor life today deep beneath its rusty subsurface lakes, dormant microbes, and ancient ecosystems locked under permafrost. This is one of the primary motives behind the large number of landers, rovers, and orbiters. But if 3AI Atlas strikes, all of that becomes a biological unknown. The impact's extreme heat would not only vaporize the surface, it would crack open the Martian crust's deeper layers, exposing reservoirs we've never reached. And if 3AI Atlas carries organic molecules or worse, synthetic biology embedded in its outgassing trails, the fusion of Earth-independent evolution with Martian biology could result in contamination on a planetary scale. Some biologists call this panspermia in reverse, not life spreading from Mars to Earth, but life being seeded into Mars deliberately. It raises a terrifying question, what if the goal was never destruction? What if the object is a delivery system, and Mars is the incubator? As 3AI Atlas approaches its closest point to Mars, the James Webb Telescope locks onto it for one final ultra-deep scan. The result is classified for 48 hours before a portion is released to the public. But leaks from within the Webb project tell a much darker story. Instruments detected traces of synthetic polymers molecules that resemble Earth-made plastics and carbon nanotubes intermixed with gaseous substances. These aren't the kinds of structures that form in vacuum or during cometary heating. These are engineered materials. Webb spectrometers also picked up isotopic anomalies that persist notably in carbon and hydrogen matching no known object in the solar system. In short, 3AI Atlas contains things that should not exist in space, and all of it is heading straight toward a planet that still might be alive. Emergency task forces are convened not because we can stop it, but because we're running out of time to figure out what it really is. Yet, as the countdown to impact continues, the unease grows. Because it might not be a crash at all. Maybe it's a signal, a message, a ritual, a convergence. Mars may be the stage, but we are the audience on Earth. And perhaps we were never meant to be docile observers. We were always part of the design. It's possible that the final result won't leave a crater, but it has already begun to reshape what we thought we knew about Mars, about life, about ourselves. Because in the end, 3AI Atlas didn't come from Mars. It came for our attention. And now that it has it, we must ask, what happens next? Subscribe now because what's coming isn't just another story. It's the kind of story that could rewrite everything.